Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss interchangeability of center of suspension and the center of oscillation for compound or physical pendulum. That is, we are going to find the time period of compound pendulum about an axis passing through the center of suspension and next about an axis passing through the center of oscillation and we compare the time period of compound pendulum about the center of suspension and center of oscillation okay so i am drawing let us consider a compound pendulum okay at rest okay and let us consider a horizontal axis passing through center of suspension s okay this is the pivot now if the pendulum is at rest then the center of gravity lies directly below the point of suspension okay and let l be the distance between the center of suspension and center of gravity okay in previous lecture i have discussed the center of oscillation now let us extend this line sg up to o and o is called the center of oscillation and we have taken this distance okay g o equals k square by l and let us suppose this ratio b l dash okay now i'm writing the time period of compound pendulum about an axis so we know the axis is horizontal okay about an axis passing through point or center of suspension is t equals twice by under root l plus k square by l whole divided by g okay so we are taking this distance l okay and l is the distance between pivot and the center of gravity okay and let us suppose k square by l equals l dash okay so we can write k square by l dash equals l so we can simply write okay from this relation t equals twice by under root l plus k square by l is l dash okay so l dash by g okay this is relation one so i am putting this in a box now let us call this relation as equation two now let us invert this compound pendulum okay so this is figure one so this is the inverted compound pendulum okay now let us pass a horizontal axis about the center of oscillation o okay so this is figure second so we have a compound pendulum okay in a vertical plane okay and the axis is horizontal and is passing through the center of oscillation clear and we can see okay from this figure the center of gravity g from the center of oscillation 
is at distance L dash. Okay. And we know L dash equals K square by L. Now, let me write. Okay. Let us invert the pendulum. Okay. Let us invert the pendulum. And pass the axis okay the axis is horizontal pass the axis through through the center center of oscillation then time period of compound pendulum is so let us call the time period t dash t dash equals twice pi under root okay now the distance between pivot and center of gravity is l dash okay so l dash plus k square by l dash whole divided by g now we know from relation second okay k square by l dash is l so we can write t dash equals twice pi under root l dash plus l whole divided by g and this is relation number three now from 1 and 3 okay we get t equals t dash that is time period about the center of suspension and center of oscillation is same that is we can interchange center of suspension and center of oscillation. So only this much for today. Thank you.